my friend Sissel is from Norway and she told me that Santa Claus, as we think of him, the jolly old elf with a long white beard and round belly that shakes when he laughs like a bowl full of jelly, is a moderately new concept for them. Instead, they have the Yulnisa, or a, a kind of house elf who helps out the household with chores, sometimes leaves presents for the family, especially when you leave him not milk and cookies. No, but a warm bowl of porridge with butter on top. They sound innocent enough, but they aren't the only fairy types running around. Even Norwegian adults know what their children never forgot. Don't mess with the trolls. There once was a young bear trainer who tested that theory when she visited her uncle Hogar one Yuletide night. You see, the bear trainer had decided that the perfect New Year's gift for the king of Denmark would be a bear. She wandered the mountains of Dolfa and finally found exactly what she was looking for, a great white bear, like those polar bears you see in the Coca-Cola commercials. It took her three weeks sleeping out in the woods, but finally she had that bear literally eating out of her, the palm of her hand. They were ready to head back to Denmark. Now on the way, it just happened to be her uncle Hova's house. The bear trainer decided to stop in and say hello for the holidays. Uncle Halvar welcomed her with a great big hug. Should I say a bear hug? Yeah. Okay. And stepped carefully out of the way of the white bear. The bear trainer asked if maybe they could stay the night and celebrate with the family. Of course, my dear. There's plenty of room in the barn for you both. The barn? Okay, she had just spent the last three weeks sleeping in the woods. She had counted on a nice dry bed for the night. But then she noticed like the entire family was carrying their Christmas feast to the barn along with pillows and bedspreads. Um, Uncle Hofer, uh, why are you sleeping in the barn? It was then he explained about the troll. They showed up every single Christmas Eve, taking over the house and hearth, eating all of the food, and partying like a bunch of wild college students. What they didn't eat, they broke. What they didn't break, they ate. They had done it for years, and the family had no idea how to get rid of them. Instead, it was just easier to celebrate with the family cows and horses in the barn. The young bear trainer thought this was a weird situation, but she also thought that her, she and her bear, they could handle a few trolls. Besides, like I said, she'd been really looking forward to a nice dry bed. She said if her uncle didn't mind, she and her great white bear would just try sleeping in the house. <laughs> Have it your way and good luck said Uncle Hovar as he ran to the safety of the barn. That night, the young bear trainer settled into one of the nice dry beds, and her great white bear settled next to the fire, which was almost as good. All was quiet until the clock struck twelve. Suddenly, the front door burst open and you can guess who started pouring in. Trolls of every size and shape. There were large trolls, small trolls, skinny trolls, fat trolls. There were old, old aunties with their long, long noses headed straight to the kitchen to cook up a grand feast. And they were followed by the old, old uncles ready to eat up everything the aunties would cook. There were the old, old, old grandmothers who tucked their heads underneath their arms for safekeeping and they carried old 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 grandfathers in a sack on their backs 
also for safekeeping. There were beautiful cow maidens who looked exactly like young women, but they had long cow tails out the backs of their dresses. And of course, there was the troll who lives underneath the bridge. You've heard about him. Oh, and then of course the family's Yonisa came over just to see what the party was about. And they danced and they sang. And Uncle Hover was right. What they didn't eat, they broke. And what they didn't break, they ate. Suddenly, in the midst of the commotion, one of the younger trolls saw the great white bear sleeping next to the fire. Thinking he had found a new playmate, he tickled the bear with the end of a half-eaten sausage. Here, kitty, kitty, he said. Here, kitty, kitty. The great white bear opened one eye. Kitty, kitty, kitty. The great white bear opened two eyes. Kitty, uh, uh oh. The great white bear reared back on its hind legs, roaring its irritation. As its head brushed the ceiling of the house, the trolls hit the door. Out went the large ones, out went the small ones, out went with the skinny ones, out went the fat ones, out went the old, old aunties with their long, long noses, followed by the old, old uncles who were still eating on their way out. Out went the old, old grandmas, followed by the old, old grandfathers, and rolling behind them both were all the grandmas' heads. Out went the beautiful cow maidens and the troll underneath the bridge. And even though it was his house, the Yule and Anissa went back out to the barn just to be safe. The rest of the night was a silent night. All was calm, all was bright. The next morning, the young bear trainer thanked her uncle Halvar for a lovely evening and took her quite great white bear to meet the king of Denmark. When the next Christmas Eve rolled around, Uncle Havar was in the forest gathering firewood. He heard his name being whispered around him. Havar, Havar, Havar. He looked around. He couldn't tell where the voices of voice were coming from. He carefully just said, yes. Um, Havar, do you still have that big kitty sleeping next to your fire? Asked the voice. Now, Hovar remembered what his niece had told him about the trolls and the great white bear. So he thought pretty fast. In his bravest voice, he said, Oh, yes, our kitty is quite healthy. In fact, she's had a nice litter of seven kittens, just as playful as she is. The voice in the forest was quiet for a moment. Um, Hovar, we thank you for all your hospitality over the years, but, um, we don't think we're going to be kind back. And you know what? The trolls never did. This is Miss Magda from the Bordeaux Branch Library. <sighs> Have a great winter.